potentially very very good Toronto Blue Jay lineup and a base hit into left Biggio rounding he's going to come on in to score quickly one to nothing Toronto he's in lefties yeah. and he started seeing more balanced lineups there's a beautiful inside out swing and that's drilled to center field for a two out hit and now Guerrero's hit in nine straight. Rocket to right center as Hicks cuts it off. That was hit so hard, it wasn't that long of a four all year. Oh man, this is really good stuff. So is that. That will not quite get to Crown Vision. It is in the sun, but Taylor's got it. So the long way. Swing and a high towering fly ball to left. Ozuna is back and he is there. Guerrero hit it too high and into the teeth of the wind. Exuding patience. Smokes that one toward Canna, sails right over his head. Davis is going to score. Bichette rounds third and Bichette's going to score. Gritchick. If anybody gets on, Simeon. That one is smoked to right field. Piscotti hustling back, spinning around, and it's over his head. Bangs off the wall, and Guerrero has a leadoff double. He has hit a couple of. Bring it a drive! Get up, ball! Get out of here! How about a three homer night for Vladdy? Well, he found the ball he wanted to hit. You know what's would have been the most impressive thing about uh, what he has done tonight? The grand slam went to left. The solo home run, run went to center. And this one's going to go to right. He can hit it out at any part of the ballpark. Seven home. Injured list and he's getting ready to come into this game. Laddie drills this one to the gap and that's going to get down and go all the way to the fence. Guerrero's headed for second with his third hit of the night. That's his eighth. And Guerrero Jr. up. With Bichette at second. Vladdy goes after the first pitch and the left fielder doesn't see it. This ball is off the wall. Bichette's going to come around and score. Alex Verdugo never saw the ball off the bat and he didn't know where it was until he heard it hit. Driven toward right field and deep. Acuna back and it is a long home run. Guerrero goes opposite field on a one strike pitch. And just like that, the Jays are back in the game. We're tied at two apiece. So eight home runs for Guerrero. And now 25 RBIs, and we start over in the rebuilding trust. That one's driven out to right field and deep. Frazier back, turning, looking. See ya. It is one nothing Blue Jays. Guerrero with a bullet home run to right field. This is the third time in this series we've seen Guerrero. One of them was off coal opening day. That high fastball out over the plate is just a pitch with his kind of swing that he can handle. And again, this ball up in the strike zone. That's by location. He's got a 1.39 OPS. He hits a high. Fly ball deep to left field. The Rosarito is back. It's out of here. Lanny Guerrero, his second home run of the ball game, has tied it up. There is a big at bat when Abreu missed on a couple of strikes that should have been called. Miles Straw got a good. Mike Miner beginning the sixth inning. He's given up three runs, five hits, and that is and that is hit deep to left field. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. makes it four runs on six hits. That's his second hit of the game. It is his second home run of the series. And with the Royals down to their last six outs on offense. Toronto makes it a 4 nothing game in the sixth. It'll give the hitters a lot of confidence, too. Matty 
hits a fly ball to the center. That's going to be over Hernandez's head and off the wall. Bo had to go back, and now they're waving him home, and there's the throw to second, and Guerrero is safe. Swing and a drive deep to right field, and that ball is gone. Vladdy Guerrero with his second home run, his first hit off of Diego Castillo. And the Blue Jays, they're not done yet. No, they never are. They get back to within two runs again of the Tampa Bay Rays. Who else put flat on top of that breaking ball? Bring it a drive deep to center field. Get up, get out of here, and gone. Vladdy Guerrero Jr. for his second home run of the season. And the Blue Jays have scored three in the bottom of the first to take a 3-1 lead. Telling you, they were flirting with danger up in the strike zone against Vladimir Guerrero. I don't care if you were just trying to show him that pitch. You are. Three and one. There's a deep drive to right center. This one's going to go. Get out of here. Gone. Vladi Guerrero. Number 10. His fifth opposite field home run. That might be the most important number. He's going the other way with some authority. Yeah, and, you know, when we were talking to him, he also showed us, he said, I'm going to have to hit the ball to right field. I'm going to have to stay on that ball. And he went out. Th Bichette leads off second. That one is driven into right center field and deep. Looking up is Judge, and that's a home run. A two-run blast for Guerrero, his 16th of the year. And it is 2 nothing Blue Jays. Yankee starters had gone 37 and a third scoreless innings before that home run. Two and one. Swing and a drive. Get up, ball. Get out of here. And grand slam for Vladdy Guerrero Jr. That's what we came for. With that grand slam, that puts the Blue Jays up. He ended up walking. Bouchette, he gave up a hit to Kirk. The number nine hit. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Swing and a drive deep to center. Get up, ball. Get out of here. God. His second home run of the night to straightaway center. Yeah, I'd say they're seeing this firsthand. Vladdy got the count back in his favor at three and two to his season. Swing and a drive. Get up, ball. Get out of here and wing out. Vladdy Guerrero, number 12, a no doubter into the teeth of the wind. You know, you had just talked about uh, him times on base and I was going to say it takes discipline to not give away any at bats and I haven't seen him give away an at bat this whole season consistent every day every at bat every pitch he sees back in September of 88 oh how big is that double play now Guerrero hits one that bounces up into the upper level of seats that guy showed up not expecting to go home with a souvenir and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. makes it a 7-5 game and what would have happened if that throw on the previous play sailed into center field we'd be talking about a tie game right now that's right the upper hand don't change until the hitters make you Vladdy hits it high and deep to center and this is a long one over the hitters eye in deep center field Wow! Home run number 14 for Guerrero. His 10th extra base hit on this homestand. Now maybe you can change. <laughs> well, I think he did change because from where I'm sitting, that looked like a changeup, and that cutter has been working so well. He got.
for the first time in his career is homered in three straight games. And I love those no doubt about it home runs where he just swings and just like how far is it going to go? When is it going to come down? He hit a couple of home runs in this series to right. Mm -hmm.